yes, yes, Kenyans. Tamu sana. I say tamu sana. <laughs> yes, tamu sana. Yes. Yesterday, ODM, ODM members of parliament had some argument with ANC members of parliament. ANC members of parliament, led by Ayub Savula and Senator Malala, held some pressure yesterday in parliament building where they told ODM to quit the handshake. And they went on to accuse some unnamed people in Kakamega County of planning to arrest and charge Senator Malala in court. Yes, I think they were blaming the system. Because it's only the system that can arrest and charge somebody in court. Immediately they issued the statement, ODM members of parliament immediately replied and told them that BBI is their brainchild. Hours later, Oparanya the Kakamega governor and ODM deputy party leader also issued a statement that confused people more. Ma <laughs> Kakamega governor Wycliffe Oparanya said that BBI is no longer becoming a priority. And with the new date set, it won't be tenable to have a referendum before 2022 election. Yes. So after all that drama, there was a message that was passed that Raila would make a statement. So very many people waited for Raila's statement. And very many people were expecting some earthquake, earthquaking statement. Hmm? Some kind of aburukenge statement. Yes, he did make the statement but through his Facebook account. And before we look into the statement by Raila, if you bumped on this video for the very first time, tap on the subscription button, but kindly don't forget to give this video a like. Let's go straight to the statement and then analyze and see which is which. Yes, this is the statement by Raila Amulo Odinga. Today, I met with the leadership of the Orange Democratic Movement to review critical developments in the country. The meeting reaffirmed ODM's commitment to the spirit of the handshake with President Uhuru Kenyatta that has created an environment of peace and stability required to address the pressing issues facing the country. We tasked the party and our supporters to continue showing this commitment to the handshake and its wider national goals in word and deed, in the interest of the nation. Finally, we also reaffirmed ODM's unwavering commitment to the Building Bridges Initiative and the Constitution of Kenya amendment bill that is a product of the BBI process. That's the statement issued by Raila Amolo Odinga today through his Facebook account. It was a long statement. I've just selected some few paragraphs that I feel is relevant to what we are discussing today. From that statement by Raila, there are two main things coming out. First, Raila is, is assuring ODM supporters and his supporters in general that ODM as a party is fully behind the BBI process. Secondly, Raila is assuring his supporters that he is firmly in the handshake. 
with President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Yes. About a few weeks ago, there's been a lot of rumor mongering in Kenya. There's been a lot of udaku doing rounds in Kenya. Some people have been saying Raila is forming some kind of a coalition with Ruto. Some have been saying the handshake of the BBI is all dead. All these ladies and gentlemen are just but udaku. All these are just but rumors. And Raila affirms today through this, his statement that he is firmly in the handshake and firmly behind BBI. And that's what exactly I've been saying in this channel. I've been saying that for you to accurately predict the political future of Kenya, you must go back to the original plot. If you don't go back to the original plot, you can be carried away eh, by the ever-changing political atmosphere of the nation. The original plot of the handshake, ladies and gentlemen. I beg to, di to disagree anyway. But I strongly believe the original aim or goal of the handshake was to make Gideon Moy the president. And Gideon Moy was to be made the president, not directly, but through a Raila presidency. That was the original plot of the handshake. The original plot was for Raila to make Gideon Moy president. By Raila making Gideon Moy president, Raila has to be the president first, and then he endorses Gideon Moy. That is the only way that Gideon Moy could be made the president and it's the easiest way of making Gideon Moy the president. So Raila was brought on board to destroy one William Ruto and to destroy Kumiyangu na Kumiyako, which has happened. Ruto has been reduced to nothing. Now, we are seeing some kind of alliances being built. This one called One Kenya Alliance. For those who don't look at politics objectively, will not understand. One Kenya Alliance, ladies and gentlemen, is just one way of Uhuru Kenyatta taking charge of his succession plan. It's not a way or, or a route of betraying Raila Amolo Odinga. It's one way of Uhuru taking charge of his succession and making sure the original plot is actually materialized. And the original plot is to make Gideon Moy president through a Raila presidency. That's the original plot. That's the original plot. And for those who don't know Raila's brand of politics, Raila, at a time Raila appears to be subdued, that's when Raila is more lethal and the strongest. And maybe for those who don't know, when Raila had some leadership wrangles in Ford Kenya with Kijana Wamalwa, Raila had the last laugh when he beat Kijana Wamalwa in the national, in the general election of 1997, he beat Wamalwa in the election. Then with Kibaki, before Kibaki, with Moi. Yes, Jogo Imemeza Tinga Tinga. That's what we were told then, 2002. But eventually, Raila made sure that Nyayo was bundled out of power. That was Raila Molo Odinga. Then he did the same to Kibaki. And Uhuru knows pretty well the kind of a person he is dealing with. And I'm not seeing Uhuru betraying that kind of a person. I strongly believe Uhuru's maneuver, maneuvers is just one way of making sure the original plot materializes. 
The likes of Mudawadi and the Kalonzos, these are the proverbial strangers who have been invited to a dinner table. After being invited to a dinner table, they think and they take themselves as also as guests. They, they are still strangers. They are not guests but strangers who have been invited to the dinner table. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I always maintain and I always say that each and every country has got its own history and plan. Now, even if, let's go a little bit, how can I call it? Let's look at the way presidents have been elected in Kenya. Let's, since the, the dawn of multi-party. Multi-party, when multi-party started in 92, Moi was the president. The first of official opposition leader of Moi, when Moi became president in 1992, was Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga. Through bad luck, Jaramogi died. Let's now go to 97. 97, Moi was the president. The first official opposition leader of Moi Kenyatta no, at Moi Kenyatta. The first official opposition leader of Moi was one Kibaki, Moi Kibaki. When Moi left in 2002, Kibaki became the president. I want you to see that kind of a trend. Moi 97 was the president. The first opposition leader was Kibaki. When Moi left, Kibaki took over his first official opposition leader. That Kibaki took over in 2002. Let's go to after Kibaki. When Kibaki became the president, the first official opposition leader, when Kibaki assumed presidency for the first time, was Uhuru Kenyatta. When Kibaki left, Uhuru Kenyatta took over. When Uhuru Kenyatta became the president, his first official opposition leader to Uhuru Kenyatta was one Raila Amolo Odinga. I don't know whether you are seeing the trend, ladies and gentlemen. So, by 2022, when Uhuru Kenyatta will be leaving, if the trend is to continue without any disruption, it's only common sense that Uhuru, when Uhuru, the first time Uhuru became the president, it's only common sense that the first official opposition leader, when Uhuru became the president for the first time, will be the president. That's a fact. I'm not trying to cook things here. That's a fact. Hmm? If by chance Raila will be alive, and Uru will be alive in 2022, then if you look at the trend, then the person to take over leadership will be naturally Raila Amolo Odinga. And this is why I maintain, ladies and gentlemen, that the original plot was to make Gideon Moi through president, through a Raila presidency. Yes, that is the... the that is the truth of the matter. You know, Kenyans, they love arguments and arguments. That is the, <coughs> the original position, or rather, that's the, that's the original position of the handshake. Folks, let me leave it there today. I don't have much to say today. <coughs> And just as I did mention when I was starting, if you bumped on this video for the very first time, tap on the subscription button. But don't forget to give this video a like. In this channel, we do what we call political analysis. <coughs> 
We upload videos on a daily basis. Tap on the subscription button, tap on the notification bell in order to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. God bless you. Thank you.